uh, says, uh, when the Old Testament says that only Noah and his family were saved from the flood, uh, does that actually mean that only eight people were saved? Yes. That's what that means. From the flood. From the flood. Yes. It says, the written record does not account for all the other races of the people of the world, so could some other races have survived in some other way? Uh, my understanding, no. It was a global flood. Every human being other than the eight on the ark were killed. What is the source of so many races of humans? As a child, I was told that people adapt to their environment, but I have black friends who have lived for several generations in Chicago, and their descendants are still black. And there are white families who live in Central Africa, and they still remain white. Okay? My understanding would be the Tower of Babel. Yep. Okay? At the Tower of Babel, God not only confused the languages, he created the different races at that point in time by some very minor uh, epigenetic, or uh, I think they're epigenetic changes. And or genetic changes. Do you think he actually rewrote their coding, or it was environmental pressures? And then I don't have an answer to that question, but it was at the Tower of Babel. Yeah, that's where you. It, and you can speculate it either way. Yep. God confused the languages. That was an intervention by God. They separated and went different ways. And then did they just evolve over the course of time with these different traits, or did God actually genetically make them? I think I, I think you can make the case that He made them different because He purposely interfered. If you understand the great controversy and what was happening, Satan uh, right after the fall began to work to efface the image of God in man and to uh, cause a global rebellion where the entire human species alienates itself from God. Uh, God intervened with that, uh, put the whole world to, to, to sleep except for Noah and his family, and then God intervened right after when they started rebellion again to interfere with the ability of the human race to come together as a global species. Yep. Okay? To, slow and to slow down the rebellion and alienation as, as an entire planet against him. And so this was an act of therapeutic love. So I think the species and the languages came at the time of Babel as an act of mercy and grace on God's part. Races, not race, yeah, that's what I meant. Yeah, thank you. Race, race, the different races of, but there's really only one. It's human race. So, okay, whether we're talking Caucasian, Asian, or or uh, African, 